My friends, how you doing today? I am doing well. Well, I'm I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a guy waiting for an unemployment check, and he's got a bill to pay. That's that's what I'm. It's hot. It's hot. Okay, it's hot in here. Okay, uh, yeah. And you're probably like, yeah. Well, you you, you are wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, this is the sacrifices that I make for you people, okay? So just do me a favor and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we're going we're gonna to get right to it. Listen, today was a very special day at the old preschool. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I've decided to, to bring my belief that the streaming services are going to totally destroy uh, uh, the future of classic movies and television shows. And I decided to make the preschool uh, uh, curriculum this week... Um, movies that are not available on streaming services movies that i think that the children of my class need to go home and talk to their parents about and then have their parents go out and hunt for them uh, on amazon and on ebay or whatever and go purchase physical media now not too long ago this happened this happened not too long ago um i decided to bring in my blu-ray player hook it up to the tv because we don't have a, we don't have a physical media player at the school okay we, we stream everything so and, and all we have there is disney plus and I and I can't stand Disney. Okay, I just don't. I, I'm sorry. Dis, Disney ruined Star Wars. Okay, Disney ruined 101 different franchises. Look what look what they're doing to Doctor Who now. They're gonna ruin that too. They, they, listen, listen, everything they touch, they destroy. Okay, they're, they're destroying my childhood, and I'm not gonna let it take take the childhood away from the, the children that I take care of on a daily basis, or their parents, or, or anything else for that matter. So anyway, um. So I, I printed out this cool little lineup of movies that we're gonna watch. Now today today's classic was um The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Now this is probably streaming on something, but I don't believe it's streaming on Disney. And um uh, I would tell you that the, the children I have in my class, only two children in my entire class have ever seen this movie. So uh parents be slacking a little bit. Okay. I this 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 is like nostalgic, man. This is this is Every every single year for I don't how, how old is this thing? Is it gonna give me like a 70, 80, 80th anniversary? Okay, so I'm not eighty years old, but as long as I can remember, whenever this would show on like channel six or twelve or ten or whatever, my entire life. Okay, we would sit down as a family and watch The Wizard of Oz. Sometimes I'd watch it with my grandmother. Sometimes I'd watch it with my cousins. But for some reason, this movie has been lost in the abyss of streaming, where people are not being able to find The Wizard of Oz, so they're not watching The Wizard of Oz. So, so I got children who have never seen The Wizard of Oz before that at like five years old and four years old. And you would think in my head, and I'm, I'm thinking in my head, this is where I'm thinking, that if we don't subject our children to The Wizard of Oz, the, the Wizard of Oz is going to disappear. Okay, that, that might that might be a thing for the future. Okay, so the streaming services might say, hey, listen, no more Wizard of Oz, and, and we're done. We're, we're, we're totally done. And uh, tomorrow we're, is uh, Return to Oz, okay, which is part two, which is which was ironic and funny because of two things. Now, I, I made like a, a a bulletin board type thing which shows the now showing, and these are the movies that we're going to watch uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I had a father come in today, and he's like, oh, what are you guys watching today? I'm like, oh, it's all downstairs, posted over there. And he's like, uh, my, my phone's buzzing in my pocket here. Um, let's see here. Is it important? No. Um... He he's like, uh, what are you watching tomorrow? I'm like, Return to Oz. He's like, there's a Return to Oz. He goes, he goes, I'm 30 years old and I've never even heard of a Return to Oz. I didn't even know there was a Return to Oz. I'm like, so he goes, and and then it's funny because I'm t I told him, I said, listen, it's a DACA version of the Wizard of Oz, but to me in my life, found it more interesting. I showed it to my kids. Uh, I will probably fast forward the beginning part where they're, they're kind of doing a little uh, brain analysis on uh, Dorothy to see whether or not she cuckoo or not, see if she imagined the Land of Oz or not. I'm probably going to fast forward past that part and get her right to um, the Land of Oz so so the kids could be into into it, in depth into the story. You know what I mean? Um, but as he's walking down the stairs, I can hear him telling the, the girls downstairs, the ladies downstairs, he's like, uh, tomorrow's the return to Oz, 30 years. I, ne I never heard of return to Oz. He goes, I'm going home right now and I'm going to go try to find return to Oz. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck trying to find it because I do not believe it's streaming on the Disney service. It was part of that Disney exclusive thing that they had uh, with the Disney Club before the Disney Club went kaputz, okay? And I bought myself a copy of Return to Oz. And I, and I also had a, a, a DVD copy. So uh, I, I made sure that I'm, I'm covered on my Return to Oz because that was one of my childhood classic favorites. And then the next one we're watching will be Willy, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the Gene Wilder one, okay? Not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, not not Wonka, okay? The original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the one that I grew up on. That's what we're going to be watching. And then I sacrificed. I sacrificed for Friday, just a little tinge bit, because there is stuff that's out recently 
well, most recently, that I feel is not on the streaming services. I have not seen it on the streaming services, actually. And it's a it's a movie that I absolutely love. I own, like, multiple copies of it in different formats, 4K, Blu-ray, DVD. And that is the, the, the um, what, what, what is, oh, it's not, it's not made by Pixar. It's made by, I don't even know what it's, is it, it's, it's not Tim Burton. It, lo it looks Tim Burton-ish, but I don't think it's Tim Burton. Did I say Tim Burton? I'm looking at the, the cover over there. It says, uh, from the writers, directors, I can't read what this says. Um, Coraline. Coraline, one one of my favorite like animation movies. It's like it's like the only one I could actually tolerate anymore. I've watched Toy Story too many times. I watched everything else too many times, and I think that my children need to watch Coraline. Now that one's a little bit rough, okay, a little scary. And they were, parents that want to sew buttons on eyes and stuff like that. So there was there is one child that the mother specifically told me that she does. She's afraid of buttons because she's seen this movie. So that child's not there on a Friday. So I'm not. I'm gonna be showing that one on the Friday. But yeah, see, see, this is what this is what we, we, it's come to, people. Okay, I got thirty year old fathers that never seen Return to Oz. I got I got children that have never seen The Wizard of Oz. I got children that have never seen the original Willy Wonka or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, when I ask them these questions, they look, they look at me like I'm crazy. So. It's time to bump up my game. Time, time to bump up my game. And I think we're going to do like maybe once a month or once every other month. I'm going to have just like a day of like a movie that 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 it was something that I was excited about when I was a kid. Stuff that I introduced to my kids when they were kids. And stuff that I want these children to carry on to their kids and their kids' kids and their kids' kids. And, and the streaming service, they ain't going to get me down. Okay? Because not now. Because... I will tell you, this happens. Uh, I, I I had a lady a couple, couple weeks, two, three weeks ago when, when I, when I, four, five, man, yeah, it's probably longer than that now. Whenever I say two, three weeks ago, you might as well think about three, four months ago because I my, my time span is all messed up. But when I showed that kid Labyrinth, he was like mind blown, okay? And he's, he's he was driving the grandmother crazy. Could you get me a copy of Labyrinth? Get me a copy of Labyrinth. Can I, make, I, wanna see, I wanna see Labyrinth. I wanna see Labyrinth. And wasn't on anything. Wasn't streaming on anything that she had. No Hulu, no Netflix, no no Disney, no no uh, Labyrinth. So he, she, she ended up buying him a copy of Labyrinth. And with that said, let's let's get to right to my my weird obsession right now. My my thing that I'm hooked on. I was go get, getting okay. So let's it, I got I got this scattered about. So as you see, I'm looking around over here. It's because I'm trying to figure out where everything is so I can start the start the procedure. I got things to open up. I I did not put a blade in front of me. It, it, oh, ha ha yeah yeah yeah. Got a blade. All right, I got things to open up, but uh. I'm going to show you what, what this all starts. So this all started with this, this, this right here. Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures. All four movies in high definition, seven hours of new archival content, okay? Who in the world does not love Indiana Jones? Now, now let me go out on a limb here to tell you guys. I know there are uh, like a ton and a half of Crystal Skull haters and uh, Dial, Dial of Destiny haters. You know what I mean? They were like, you know, uh, no... Uh, Indy should have should have should have hung up his hat after uh, the Last Crusade. Okay, that that's what that's what I the the consensus that I get from YouTube. A lot of people hate 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 the Crystal Skull. They hate it. They I, they're like it has nothing to do with Raiders. You know, it has nothing to do with Temple. It has nothing to do with the, the la they should have just they should have just left it alone. And I gotta tell you, I went to I was one of these people that open at night. At the IMAX theater, going to see the Crystal Skull because I'm just that much of an Indiana Jones fan. Actually, a, a fan of, of Harrison Ford as an actor. Period. Just, let's put a period at the end of that. Harrison Ford is just he's he just cool. Okay, he's cool, and 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 none of these Indiana Jones movies are bad or terrible or, or whatever. You, listen, you guys can have your opinion. I have my opinion. We all have opinions. Okay. Uh, I got to tell you, I watched the Crystal Skull the other night and I enjoyed it. Okay, I I like the. Uh, sci-fi type feel to it. I I understand it wasn't a, a a lost arc and it wasn't the three stones of, of Nakara or whatever or, or, or whatever whatever that was okay and he's not searching for the Holy Grail okay I understand those were all bits and pieces this this one had to do with aliens okay that well the Crystal Skull had to do with aliens you guys were like way off and then the Dial of Destiny yeah, there's, there's people dissecting that thing right now right as we speak they're still dissecting it saying that this jump to this and this this wouldn't work and that wouldn't listen they're movies they're not real okay I, before i started the wizard of oz today and showed the kids the witches the witch from the wizard of oz i had to explain to the kids from the wizard the, before i watched i'm like it's not real okay it's a lady in makeup okay you're, you're gonna see a tin man okay and i even explained to them at the beginning of the movie when you show they show all the characters working on the um they're working on the uh the workman guys, but they, they, they're working on a trailer. Is it a trailer or, or, or like a wagon? They're working on a wagon, okay? And I'm like, 
Later on, you're going to see the Tin Man. There's the Tin Man. Later on, you're going to see the Scarecrow. That's a Scarecrow. Then later on, you're going to see... Uh, so, so they wouldn't be scared or worried or whatever about talking Scarecrows and talking... It, listen, it's it's it's, it's a movie. It's make-believe. It's for entertainment, okay? People had to, like, really tearing the stuff apart, saying, oh, well, there's no... Well, there's no such thing as aliens, so why would Indiana Jones be hunting for aliens? The only complaint I got about uh, the Crystal Skull was, um, what's his face there? Shia, Shia LaBeouf, okay? And his probably worst acting I think I've ever seen in any movie that he's ever done. Shia LaBeouf is, an, is a great actor, or was a great actor. I don't know, he went off the deep end for a little bit. I don't know what he's doing right now. But this is that's the only only gripe I have about the Crystal Skull is that, that Shia LaBeouf probably shouldn't have been in that movie, okay? It just, it just didn't make any sense. I like... I like it better when Indiana Jones has no-name actors or, or people that we don't know that are not that familiar, and then they, he makes them famous as they go along. That's my only complaint, is that I feel like they, 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 they like, they, um, cashed in on the Shia LaBeouf success of, uh, um, Transformers. That's what I think they did, and they threw him in the movie, and everybody's like, oh, well, if the Indiana Jones movie sucks, then, you know, at least we got some Shia LaBeouf from, uh, Transformers. Um, yeah, so anyway, it started with this, and I was like, I love Indiana Jones. I love it. Do I want to upgrade from Blu-ray to 4K? Yes, I do. I wanted the original cover art, okay? The the black background with the, the beautiful drawings that I remember as a child standing up looking at the, the marquee at the movie theater. That, that's what I wanted. But unfortunately, the only way you can get that is in a 4K pack, which just comes with the 4K. It's not even a pack. It's a 4K individually, which were really expensive, and I was like, I don't want to pull the trigger just for the cover art, okay? There's a better way for me to get the 4K. And I'm, I'm going to show you the better way for me to get the 4K. It's this pile of crap, okay? <laughs> this terrible artwork, steelbook, um, 4K collection. Now, I paid uh, $50 for this thing. Uh, I might have been less, less than $50 for this thing. Um, because the individual... 4Ks were going for, I want to say, $30 a piece. So if you think about it, there's one, two, three, four in here at $30 a piece, $30, $60, uh, $90, $120, as opposed to, uh, what is that, a quarter or uh, 40 cents of it? Listen, these are not the best steel books in the world. Matter of fact, I think they look like garbage, okay? I don't like the color. I don't like the orange. I don't like, uh, I don't like what's going on with these things. I, I, you know, I, I the only thing I like about this is on the back of them, they show you everything that he's searching for. Here you go. There, there's the Ark, the, the Ark of the Covenant. And on the back of this one are the, the three Shan, Shankara stones, if I remember correctly. Comment below. The Shankara stones. Okay, listen, I've been watching Indiana Jones for years, especially uh, Temple of Doom, which was is it, which is which and was and still still will ever be my probably my favorite. It'll be, it'll be Temple of Doom, Raiders, and then uh, Last Crusade. Then Crystal Skull, and then that last one that just came out, the Dial, Dial of Destiny. But yeah, on the back of these things, you look, you get the there's the there's the Grail, and, and oh, oh, listen, listen, you complain is here we go, eh, the Crystal Skull. Um, but yeah, the covers of these things are pretty pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just it just seems like they didn't put a lot of work. This is one of those Best Buy exclusives, you know. But for the price, and what sucks about it is that all you get is the 4K. All you get is the 4K. I didn't get the digital because, you know, this was used and, and I wanted to get it cheap. And I just wanted the 4Ks to add to my collection. Even though I don't even play 4Ks, I just wanted Indiana Jones because it's one of my favorite... Indiana Jones my one of my favorite franchises. I wanted it in my collection. I wanted it before somebody started messing with it. I wanted it before there's a redone of it. I wanted it before Disney owns it. Disney probably already owns this. Does Disney own this? It's a Paramount. It's a Lucasfilm, though. Disney probably already owns it. Before Disney takes this thing back to the shop and starts adding uh, creatures and... Uh, um, CGI, uh, this, the CGI, that, I mean, we, we, granted, we already had a CGI, uh, uh, Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny, but, uh, um, yeah, before they start messing around with the CGI stuff, it, it, yeah, it was better that I picked this thing up, but after I bought it, I had some, some, not buyer's remorse, but I was like, <sighs> I think I could do better, I think I could do better, and what I have here is better, now, you, you ready, here we go, what, one of them I opened, and uh, the rest. So let me, let me, I'm going to go a little bit backwards. So I decided not to upgrade or do anything with this. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. This is already the 4K Blu-ray combo pack. So I didn't, so, so this, this completes this. And this also completes this. So there was no need to go, to go shop, shop out for the, 
the 4K Blu-ray Steelbook, because I really don't care about Steelbooks. I didn't feel like it just did, this this was good. This is good enough. I mean, I got the 4K, I got the Blu-ray. The only thing I'm missing is the DVD. I mean, and I might pick up the DVD just just because I'm a completist and out of my 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 dang gourd. Um, and then let me let me uh let me crack this thing. Hold on. I happen to know what everything's here. Cause I, uh, so this came from uh, Anna, Anna Mac, uh, Lancaster, California. The guy's name or girl's name was Anna Mac. A Anna, Anna Mac. Oh, man. Anna Mac. What are you doing to me? Hang on. Oh, Anna Mac didn't do jack squat to me. Okay, here we go. Um, so in here is Raiders of the Lost Ark and, wait a minute, Temple of Doom. So what I did is I bought these. Uh, with the the cover art that I wanted, okay? So, was, and these were only, like, these were under $10. So, each one of these was under $10. This is just the Blu-ray and the digital. Now, now you're probably like, hey, uh, sir, um, you have this, and this is the Blu-ray collection right here. So, everything you have here is in here. Yeah, but you don't get this cover art stuff, and that's what I wanted. I wanted the iconic cover art that I remember when I was a kid, when I was staring up at that poster as a child and going, Daddy... I want to go see uh, Indiana Jones. And he's like, we ain't got no money. I just spent all the money at the scratch ticket place. Get in the car and shut your mouth. Okay. Yeah. I, w I wanted to remember that. I wanted to, I wanted to have a moment of that. Now, he did take me to go see Temple of Doom. That's because he wanted to go see it. But uh, as far as the other things, nah. Um, so, yeah. I grabbed I grabbed Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. Because it's, 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 it's got the iconic uh, cover that I wanted. I mean, it's not as... It doesn't have the black background like the 4K does. But this is the original cover art that I remember as a child. So we got the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark one there. We have the Temple of Doom. Uh, and if you slide this off there, I gotta see if I can get these stickers off though from Best Buy or whatever. And in there, wait, wait, maybe I should check to see if these things are in here. Yeah, that that that'd be really funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, we got the we got the Blu-ray in here, and that's it, just the Blu-ray. Okay, that's what that's what I wanted. Well, let me, let me you know, what? I just looked at this thing, and I'm gonna look at it again. Wait, Temple of Doom, Temple of Doom. Okay, hold on. I'm going back to Raiders for a second here, cause I just wanna make sure that I didn't get ripped off and and uh. Whatever's supposed to be in here is actually in. I'm, I'm, sh I'm, sh it's hot. I'm shaking. I'm sweating and shaking. All right. Um, let me check this Raiders one there to make sure. Okay. And Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. Perfect. So we had these two. And then I'm like, now nah, where am I going to get the. Okay. Oh, 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 wait. I messed up. Hold on. That's not it. Wait, what did I do with that? Okay. There it is. Here it is. All right. Uh, and then we got Michael. Uh, Ma ma nikki ma nikki m a r s c h i n k e ma nikki nikki okay well michael ma nikki 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 uh from south st paul minnesota uh sent me this okay why well, why well, purchase this okay but this this should complete right got some bubble wrap here hopefully this is a bubble wrap where i'm going to cut into the the slip cover and then i'll regret it you know, you shipping guys there. Sometimes you do a really good job, but please keep in mind that, you know, when you kind of bubble wrap directly against, and you put tape and stuff like that against the uh, the slipcase, there's, there's always a chance that somebody might slip up and actually cut through the slipcase, which I didn't do, so that's good. Um, and then we have Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. Look at that cover up. Isn't that isn't that so much better looking and pretty like that? You know what I'm talking about? We got the and there's a reason why I went right from um, I went from Raiders, Temple, to the Last Crusade, because I got the Crystal Skull in yesterday, and I wanted to watch the Crystal Skull. Yes, I'm, I, I bypassed the Raiders, I bypassed Temple, I bypassed uh, Last Crusade, and Dial of Destiny, I gotta, I gotta re-watch again, because I, I, that one I watched in the drive-in, and if you've ever been to the drive-in, you know that if, it's, if dusk does not hit properly, you don't really see as much as you should see, so I gotta give Dial of Destiny another chance. But, the Crystal Skull... Only came in this format in Blu-ray. Are you ready? Besides the, the box set. This big collection thing with, with a book. It's it's like a it's it's it opens up like this and it's got two discs and it's got a, a book of uh I mean it the only thing that kinda kinda stinks about this is it's big. It's 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 like DVD size. I don't know why they did this. There is no with the uh, so there is no with a slip cover available uh, for some reason of the Crystal Skull. This is the only way you can get the Crystal Skull on Blu-ray. Um, is in this like with a slip cover is in this with with the original cover art. You can you can get it. You can get uh, 
an inferior version on Blu-ray that ha doesn't have the same cover art, might have something else. Um, but this is the only way, this, they call this the two disc special edition, which it does come with a boatload of extra features. I'm not even going to go through it, but disc one is just a, the feature film, uh, pre-production featurette and, uh, uh, Indiana Jones, uh, timelines and the return of the legend featurette. And that, that, that's just the first disc. And the second one is like a, a paragraph of stuff. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to be able to get my Indiana Jones fix in. And if, Disney decides they want to stop messing with my past and messing with my childhood or messing with, with the, the future of our children who want to see Indiana Jones and the Lost Raiders of the Lost Ark or Temple of Doom or Last Crusade or or even even the Crystal Skull and Dial of Destiny. They ain't gonna mess with me. You ain't gonna listen. This is where we are at in our our lives right now with physical media. You gotta own the physical media. This I got, I own it, you can't take it away from me. The TV, the streaming services, they can take that away anytime they want. They can, they can sell it to another company. They can make it disappear. And Disney, uh, if they now own, which I, if it's Lucas Films, I'm, I, I'm assuming that since since George Lucas done sold uh, Star Wars over to Disney, uh, he's probably sold uh, Indiana Jones to it. Where's, where's the, um, hold on a second here. Let me just see here. This this last release, whatever. Is this still under Paramount? It's, it says Lucas Films. It doesn't even say, Dial Destiny just says Lucas Films. It does not say anything about Disney on it whatsoever. Yes, it does. It says Disney right there. Right there is that unmagical kingdom, okay, that I that I I can't stand. Money, 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 money. 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 Money. Anyway, yeah, so this if you did not like uh Dial of Destiny, it's probably because uh you had a problem with Disney. Okay, you probably have a problem. Let me see if Yeah, okay, so he so he didn't so I guess in uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skulls is actually the last non-Disney touched movie. Because then afterwards, yep, it's just, it's just Paramount Home Video. There's nothing here that says Disney. So I guess Disney, if, if you hated Dial of Destiny, stop for a second. Pause and think about who's putting this crap together now, okay? Listen, nothing against Harrison Ford. If, you, if you're watching Harrison Ford interview, the best thing I like about Harrison Ford is the fact that he tells me he's doing it for the money. He, he he is the funniest guy on his interviews. They ask him, "Hey, why'd you want? Did you want? Why'd you want to play Han Solo again? Because they offered me a whole pile of money. Why'd you want to do Indiana Jones again? Because they offered me a whole pile of money." I love the man's honesty. Okay, if somebody offered me a whole ton of money, I'd probably go do a Disney movie too. Okay, I, we got listen. I'm honesty on this channel. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, somebody offers you uh like two or three million dollars. Okay, to go go be in a movie that you don't even approve or think think sucks or whatever, and it's owned by Disney or whatever, and you. Let's stop for a second, okay? I know some of you guys, like, I, got, I got morals. I got morals. I stand up for myself. And I, I would say no, buddy. Somebody waved you uh, 2 or $3 million cash money in your face right now, and you're, you're worrying about how to pay your gas, electric, or telephone bill. You're going to grab that $3 million, and you're going to be Indiana Jones once again, or you're going to be Han Solo once again. So I, I give much much respect to Harrison Ford for, for taking taking the Disney money and running, okay? Because, because the, the bottom line is... If, if you need to take care of your family and you need and you need the money, you got to do what you got to do, okay? But I don't like what what Disney is doing to all of our franchises. I mean, I know you I know I got some big fans out there of of uh, uh the Mandalorian and all the Star Wars stuff that's going. Listen, I before this video is done, there's probably 10 new Star Wars TV shows right now on Disney, okay? There was a new one I just saw uh, the other day Made no sense to me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm like, I, I, I remember none of these characters back when I was a kid. I remember none of these characters. Now they, they, they tackled the Obi Wan. They tackled the, uh, um, Han Solo. They, 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 they did all of that stuff. There. Now they're reaching for characters and they, they're creating characters. I, they're grabbing books from like that that I wouldn't normally read. And they're like, oh, I'm gonna take that one character that nobody cared about, and we're gonna make a whole TV series about him. That's how bad Disney's gotten. And they won't show the Wizard of Oz, or they won't show the stuff that that kids should be watching. Or even adults should be watching, but they'll they'll create a new whatever Loki or whatever whatever it might be. They're like let's let's choose the character from the Avengers that people cared about just very little bit. We'll make a whole TV series about him. You know what I mean? It's like I I, I just don't understand it. I I just don't understand. I mean I, I personally I like Loki as a character. Okay, in in the, the franchise of of the the, the movies and everything, uh, but. It, it, did I sit down and watch the series? No, I'm not gonna sit down and watch the series. I could care less. I could care. I don't care what happened to Loki. He was kind of a pain in the neck in the, in the Thor movies and stuff. I, I didn't care. And, and, and so whatever. With that said, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sweating. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shower and do something or whatever. With that said, uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you 
later. You